Hi guys, my name is Muskan Hingorani and I'm a professional makeup artist and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all this bridesmaid soft glam makeup look. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So I'm starting by applying the Nivea moisturizer all over her face in order to prep her skin for makeup. I am applying an eye primer on the eyes and you know blending it out using a concealer brush very nicely and eye primer provides a base for your eyeshadow to stick to. You need to set it using a cream colored eyeshadow or your compact. Now taking a medium brown shade on a blending brush, I am defining the crease by making back and forth motions. Defining the crease needs to be done well because it creates depth for the shimmer to build to and you need to blend very nicely. Next, taking a short shade of brush and some dark brown eyeshadow, I am applying it on the outer corner of the eyes. Again, this is to create more depth for the shimmer to pop and you need to make sure it's really well blended. Next, I am taking a shimmer shade and I am patting it downwards on the eyes. The best way to apply shimmers is using your fingers. Now, blend, blend, blend so that it all looks very seamless. Blending is the key for eye makeup. You need to blend well. Now I am applying some glitter, a very little amount, not a lot, I didn't want it to be very very glittery, just a little sparkle to give it a glam look. Again blending it all very nicely so that doesn't look separate separate. Now I am applying some moisturizer on the under eyes and wiping it using a cloth. This is the easiest way to wipe off glitter on the under eyes. And now it's time for primer. I am using a gel primer because it would help to provide a good canvas for the foundation. And now it's time for eyeliner. I am using a gel eyeliner. To hide the pigmentation, I am using an orange corrector from the Nykaa palette and blending it nicely. Make sure you don't apply too much. Little goes a long way. You need to blend it nicely. Now it's time for foundation. I'm applying it on the jawline and blending and seeing if it's matching her skin tone. It did and now I'm just dotting it over her face so that I can blend it on later. Now using a blending brush, I'm going in downwards motion and blending it all out. You need to make sure when you're blending your foundation, you are taking your time with it and you're doing it nicely because this is the most important part of your base makeup. Go in downwards motion because you have facial hairs and they will go pop. Now never forget your neck. You always need to apply a foundation up until to your neck. Now it was time for concealer. A concealer brush. Patting it down, not blending in sweeping motions. Patting it down nicely. Wherever I am applying concealer, I am patting it. Now I wanted to give her a cream contour and you know make her cheeks pop. So I am applying it on the cheeks and going in upward direction, not downwards. You need the upper illusion of the cheeks. Again for the jawline, I am applying it on the jawline and here downward motion. Setting it all with a loose powder, I am applying generously because it was humid weather and I didn't want the concealer to crease so I did apply the loose powder quite generously. Again. It is not baking because I am blending it right then and there. Now it was time to blend everything together using the compact powder and a big powder brush. Making sure everything looks seamless and blended. A big powder brush is really great. Next using an angular brush I am doing her eyebrows. And now it was time for blush to bring back the color back on her cheeks. In the brush nicely above the contour. Now to give some glow, it was time for highlighter and making sure the highlighter is blended nicely with the blush and they both look seamless. To set it all, I'm using a setting spray from Makeup Revolution and setting all over her face. Lastly, to finish off the look, I applied some lipstick and it's a peach tone shade to complement her outfit. Later on, I also added gloss after the video. I you know, thought of that. Now, now, just taking some dark brown shade and defining the lower lash line using the short shade of brush. Lastly, mascara. 
here's the final look i hope you guys liked it and i showed her the look so this was her reaction she liked it the top glam makeup look which you can recreate for the wedding season and you can adjust the steps as per your liking so yeah i hope you guys learned something new in today's video if you did then please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also you can follow me on instagram for more such makeup tips i post there very frequently this look is very versatile and can go with a lot of indian outfits so yeah here's a blue till next time bye bye